So in this video, I'm going to show you a simple dodge and burn technique to enhance your portrait images. Dodging and burning enables you to enhance the shadows and highlights in your images. It's a very powerful method. So basically, what does dodging or basically what does the word dodge and burn mean? It's very simple. So dodge means to brighten and burn means to darken. Now there are different techniques in Photoshop that you can use to achieve the same result. But I will explain to you the most easiest one that I use. So let's get started. First thing you need to do is make a copy of the image. So Ctrl J and make two copies. One I will name it as Dodge and the other one I will name it as Burn. So hide the Burn and let's work on the Dodge. So as I said earlier Dodge means to brighten. So make the mode of the layer to screen. This lightens the overall image. Once we made it to screen, you double click on this layer. It will open the blending options window. You need to focus on the underlying option over here. Now we need to highlight the white areas in the image to how much we need to brighten it up. So for that you drag this point to the right. drag it to the point that you want to highlight only the white part say I'm happy with this much now to feather it you press the alt button on your keyboard and click on the point it will divide it now you drag it further it will feather the white color on the face and then you can work around how much you want so we have brightened up the areas on the skin. Say OK. You can see the difference. Now burn. Hide the dodge layer and activate the burn layer. Make the mode multiply. Multiply darkens the overall image. Same concept you double click. Now the underlying layer the right side you pull it in the front to highlight the dark areas so this much now again you press the alt key on your keyboard divide the point and we need to feather it more You can play around with the points to how much you feel is good because every image will be different and feather it accordingly. Once you are ok, click ok. Now all these layers are totally not destructible so you can anytime modify it. Whenever you want you can modify it. So you can see we have successfully dodged and burned the images. Now if you feel it's too much bright, you can decrease the opacity to whatever you feel is good enough. Say I'll make it around 40%. Now we need to group the two, so Ctrl G and now we need to blend this group with the background. This is the original image. We need to blend it with the background. So you create a mask. Now image, apply image, keep everything as it is and say OK. So you can see the effect is only on the face and the skin now. You can see the difference. It's so flat in the beginning and now we've got the, the shadows and highlights enhanced. Now we will work on the eyes. So basically I will create 
अब कलर फिल लिया सॉलिड कलर लिया वाइट ओके नाउ आई विल डबल क्लिक कर लिया एंड आई विल कीप इट एट द पॉइंट टू वेयर दी आई बॉल्स आर लिटिल बिट वाइटिश डोंट बॉडर अबाउट द अदर वाइट एरिया ऑन द फेस वी विल मास्क इट आउट जस्ट टू कीप दिस एरिया वाइट सो इफ आई फील दिस इज गुड इनफ अगेन आई विल ऑल्ट क्लिक इट एंड आई विल फेदर इट Say okay. Now click the mask icon on the layer and invert it. Control I. This will hide it. Now you zoom into the eyeballs. Take the brush tool, opacity fifty or whatever you want, and just brush on the eyeballs to make it little whitish. You can see now. Now let's work on the lips area. Lips area also. I'll add one more color fill layer. White. I want to get a little bit whiteness on the lips. So I will do the same thing again. Alt click, feather it. Okay. Now I will click the mask and invert it. Take my brush tool. With the white brush selected, I will again this click here to get a little shine. Now I want to make the lips a little red, so I will add a color balance layer. and i will make the red full red and i will invert the mask take my brush tool and i will brush on it so i will get the lips red opacity i will make it uh, maybe 80% and i will brush it So you see so we have successfully created a dodge and burn effect and also enhanced the lips and eyes you can see the lips before flat after now red the whiteness in the lips gives a little bit of glow and this is the eyes now since all are totally non destructible you can click any of the layers and modify it whatever you want to do you can do if you want to create the lips color you want to change to whatever you want you can do it but i want to do it red and you can edit any layer so that's how we successfully dodge and burn this image i hope you enjoyed the tutorial and any questions please leave it in the comment section and i'll be happy to answer it Take care and please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.